I'm Justin Simeon, uh, the writer-director of Dear White People. So this is uh, Tessa Thompson playing Samantha White, uh, one of the four uh, lead characters of the narrative. And this is kind of like a before picture of how Samantha kind of um, expresses her opinions. And she, she created this film that is very much meant to shock, <laughs> shock people and provoke a reaction. It's uh, a riff on Birth of a Nation called Rebirth of a Nation, in which uh, this time the tables are turned. It's white people in whiteface uh, berating uh, the black president simply for, you know, trying to do good things. Uh, free health care for all is, is responded to by pandemonium and white people sort of <laughs> weeping and yelling loudly to the sky. Uh, this girl actually won a guest spot in the film because she donated a lot of money to her Indiegogo campaign. Uh, but really, you know, the point of the scene is to um, kind of paint a before picture of Sam. And, you know, we, we return to her in film class uh, with a different kind of message at the end of the film. Uh, of course, she's gotten the reaction she wants, which is sort of frightened silence from her fellow classmates. But, you know, no one's necessarily having a dialogue about it and, uh, until she is completely dismantled. But it's a little self-congratulatory, light on story, and frankly, thematically dubious. Uh, one interesting thing about this scene is we didn't really have a lot of money for extras, so everything is very carefully framed so that the, the classroom looks full, but there's about 12 people total in that room. Uh, uh, which was kind of a challenge. This is one of my favorite exchanges in the film and uh, certainly one that always gets a, a really fantastic reaction from the crowd where Sam is sort of defending her position that uh, the Gremlins is an example of uh, institutionalized racism because it uh, features as a villain characters who talk in slang and freak out when you get their hair wet, who are also addicted to fried chicken. Uh, one thing that was kind of fun about her outfit here is that she, uh, this is sort of her Annie Hall uh, meets Lisa Bonet from Different World <laughs> look. Uh, we felt like Sam was a person who would always sort of reference other people and other you know aspects of the culture with her aesthetic, whether it's in film or uh, in fashion. And she's sort of uh, taken to task not because of the controversial nature of her film, but because it's late, um, which is you know in stark contrast to uh, what happens at the end of the film. Thematically dubious.